Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am kind of showing you this little trick I guess that I came up with. Um, ever since I posted the video of the Hocus Pocus cup that I made and I used a clear water slide on a black cup, um, you know I spray paint it white and all that stuff. If you haven't checked that out definitely go look at that video, it's pretty neat. But um, I've had a lot of comments about how can you do something with words? Um, um, can you make a water slide with words on it and with a clear water slide put it on a black cup? And if you did that, um, it would, you would see the white in the background of your letters. And what I'm going to show you, it does not have letters, but it does have, um, like little spaces in it, you know, like, like a letter would. You'll, you'll see whenever I get into the video, but I am using a black cup again. Um, this is a 20 ounce from Tumblrology. I painted it black and I'm going to use clear water slide paper again. And at first, this is the image um, that the customer wanted on it. She sent me a picture of, um, I think it was like her husband's shirt or something like that. He must be a music teacher. I don't know. But it was a black shirt, black button up shirt. And it was like a bunch of different colored music notes and they were all jumbled together and then they kind of fell down. So I just found some pictures of different music notes and I went into design space, hit edit, changed the color, dupl duplicated them a bunch of times and then um, just kind of made this image on my own. And at first, like my thought process was, okay, I'm going to put it on the black cup like I did the Hocus Pocus cup. And then I printed this out. I wasted like a whole sheet almost of water slide paper. Um, I printed this out and realized that it's not going to work because you're going to see all of this white, um, the spaces in between the little music notes, you're going to see all of it. So I am going to go into my Cricut Design Space and show you how I am fixing this problem. And then I haven't actually tried it yet, so we are going to see together if this works. Okay, so in Cricut Design Space, I have my little image here that I made. And what I'm going to do is go over to shapes, choose a square, and then go over to edit and arrange and send it to the back. And then just kind of size the square to cover up the entire image. I'm going to make it a little bit longer just to be safe. But then I'm going to go over to edit, go to cut, change the color to black. So now the background of the image is black and now I'm going to select it all and flatten it so that will turn it into a printable image. I'm going to save it just in case I need to use this in the future. And now I'm going to print it out so I'll go to make it, which takes forever, I'm sorry. Alright, now that I'm here I want to make sure to turn the bleed off and mirror on because I'm going to be placing it face down on the cup. Okay, so now that the image is printed off, here's what it looks like. I let it sit for a few minutes and let the ink dry. If you have not watched the video that I did on the Hocus Pocus cup, I will walk you through what I'm doing here. Let me try and get this out of the glare so you can see. I am using Rust-Oleum two times matte clear. It doesn't have to be matte. It can be gloss, semi-gloss, whatever, just as long as it's clear. I'm going to seal it. Let that set until it's dry, it takes about five minutes, and then come back and do the next step. All right, so now that the sealant is dry, I'm gonna come in with Rust-Oleum two times flat white. I don't think this matters if it is flat, but give it a good coat of white paint. And it doesn't have to be like if you're gonna prep a tumbler, um, you can still kind of see like the black and the image shining through. That's fine. Now wait for this paint to be completely dry and then go in again with your clear sealant, hit it again with some sealant, let that dry, and then come back for the next step. Okay, so now it's ready to be put on the cup. This is what it looks like in the end. So I'm trying to find where the little music notes start. And I'm just cutting around them. So 
But remember, if this works, you can use this for words. If this works. Okay, so that looks about right. So, let it get in the water. Soak in there. And I'm going to put the link to this water slide paper that I get. I just get it from Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive, but it's also very, very good quality. So like it doesn't like, I haven't had any trouble with it ripping or anything like that. Gonna get my cup wet where the water slide's gonna go, roughly. If you've never used water slide before you'll know it's ready when you can start sliding the back off of the image it's sliding but it's still kind of tough so I'm gonna give it a little bit longer I'm going to put it face down I'm looking kind of up and we'll let some water drip onto the cup putting it in the light to see exactly where the notes are and I want them to be about there okay now let's see if this works which I really really hope it does it's going to be kind of difficult because this is not a skinny tumbler so I'm going to have a lot of wrinkles to work out There we go. It worked. It worked. Yay. Let me get these wrinkles out and get it smoothed out before it dries that way. So now you know, whenever you put the epoxy over it, um, it does kind of help hide like the obvious lines where the water slide is. But now I know, and now you know, whoa, that's a big water pocket under there, um, that this can be done with anything you want to put on your tumbler. You can do this with words, you can do this with music notes, you can do this with anything. As long as you get onto Cricut Design Space and put a black background behind the image, it will work. That is a gigantic either air bubble or water bubble. I think it's air. There we go. Got it worked out there. Okay, now the image is nice and flat, I think. Oh, that's awesome. That makes me excited. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. But yeah, so, oh my god, that's awesome. I'm so excited. I was like, man, if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to print out or cut out vinyl, which I mean, I could have done. It just would have been like super duper tedious but it works thank goodness so there's my little trick of the day if you guys have any questions about this or if you guys want me to try anything else please let me know and don't forget to subscribe thanks guys bye